A brief reprieve. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We had our past heat wave here that just ended on Sunday. We got to 90 degrees on Sunday at Atlantic City International Airport. That gave us a five-day heat wave. We also saw a three-day heat wave over at Millville Executive Airport. And for the most part here, all of the mainland got above 90 degrees at least for three days. Now, the story with this heat wave is that, yes, it was hot, but the humidity was mostly away from the area. Only Saturday was a pretty humid day across the region. Our last five day heat wave was actually an eight day heat wave back just around this time at the end of June going into July. And yes, there was more to come. And that's why I say it's a brief reprieve here. Let's take a look at our high temperatures. We're going to go from last Wednesday. Here's today. We're going to go forward to this Saturday. Look at the chart. We are above 90 degrees every day throughout this stretch with the exception of today. So that means, yes, another five day heat wave will be on the way as we go into 4th of July weekend. Now let's focus on the positive though. We have high pressure overhead for today. And what that means is we have very stable air across the area. This is our Cape values, convective available potential energy. In short, how much juice do we have in the atmosphere? Not a lot here. And we just see sunny skies with a couple of fair weather clouds as we go into the afternoon. But this will arrive as we go into Wednesday and stick through us with the 4th of July weekend. And we have our fireworks forecast for you. It does look like we will be dodging showers and storms, but they are not going to be widespread. And I would say it's one of those things where if it gets moved, it's just moved for a low period of time, or you might go on as planned here. Let's look at our afternoon numbers for you. Low 80s across all of South Jersey here. Mix of sun and clouds, light northwest wind, but a sea breeze will develop as time goes on. Speaking of that sea breeze, let's look at our sea temperatures. We're pretty much between 70 to 75 degrees for a large swath of South Jersey here. UV index is very high. Rip current risk is a low, so very good day to get in the water and enjoy. Let's go into tonight. We'll be falling through the 70s this evening and then we'll have temperatures in the 60s overnight. You can leave the windows open tonight. Probably going to be the first time you have done so in a while and will be the first time or the last time you will be able to do so for a while as well. Light and variable wind. Then we go to Tuesday here. Sunny start. Clouds build in. Most of your day is dry. We get to 91 degrees, but storms do arrive between 5 to 7 p.m. Not expecting severe weather, but there is the potential for a few areas of roadway flooding as we go into the evening. Here is our seven day forecast. You see a lot of lightning here throughout the next seven days. Does not mean any of these days are a washout. In fact, most of Wednesday and most of Thursday does look to be dry. However, as we go into Friday and Saturday, scattered showers and storms on swampy days here across the area. And those scattered showers and storms will be around all throughout the day on Friday and Saturday. Not a washout, but just something to keep in mind. At the shore, again, all these showers and storms will be around. Temperatures staying in the upper 80s as opposed to the 90s. Only exception will be Saturday as we see a temperature around 90 degrees. We'll be talking plenty more about the holiday weekend and just how dry it is going to be. You can follow me on social media for that. Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX. Twitter at ACPressMartucci or the press of AC.com slash weather.